Well, hey everyone, welcome to Tekken Tux's Let's Play Minecraft, episode 43. Let's get started. So in last episode, I had a water cell machine over here that was not working properly. Um, I still, to this point, cannot figure out why that was happening. Um, so I moved the machine outdoors, actually, and I've done a couple other things off camera that I'm going to go ahead and show you. I haven't built anything, per se, other than what I had built in the last episode. So let's go out here. The water machine... The way that it was designed and the way that uh, I saw in the world that was uh, sent to me worked perfectly. And it works perfectly over here, but for some reason it didn't want to work perfectly in my house. So anyway, this is the exact same setup I had in the house. Uh, the only difference is that it's connected to this body of water, which seems to work, and I don't know why it didn't inside, even with an infinite water source. Anyhow, regardless, it now makes water cells. Uh, if I had some on me, I'd show you. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started over here. Uh, I need to make... A couple of things. So let's go in here and I'm gonna drop off the subsidian and this. It's for a super secret project I'm doing next. Well it won't be secret much longer but alright so we're gonna take this and put this in the center and then we're going to take that and put this around the edge. Uh, and I thought that was supposed to make something. Hmm I may have gotten that recipe wrong. Alrighty then. Well, uh, let's see here. Uh, I need to make this. Which requires... Oh, alternius fuel. That stuff's expensive. I thought it was Mobius. Alright, well, uh, let's go over here. Let's pour that in there. Give that to my client star. Alternius fuel. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Sweet. Let's get that Klein Star put back in here so we can continue charging it. Um, now let's, whoops, wrong uh, crafting table here. Let's try that again. Alright, so we now have a dark matter. Awesome. Let's make a second one. This, These are just blocks of diamond, by the way. Alright, what else do I need to make this? Oh, regular diamonds and obsidian. Alright, uh, let's see, I got the obsidian here. Let me actually get this to where you can see what I'm doing. There we are. Alright, and let's go ahead and put the diamonds in there. Ta-da! Now... Oh, goodness gracious. Hey, how did you get in here? Nothing's supposed to be inside my house. Wow. I'm just getting attacked. There we go. My goodness. And I'm out of food, too, on top of that. Oh, boy. This may not end well. I need to find somewhere to dump everything that I have on me. Okay. Good enough. Come on, hurry up. Let's see. I seem to have not done that. Alright. Yay! And I'm back. Alright. So let's go ahead and get these put back on. Yay, grab my bag back. Grab some iron out of here. The gem of eternal density. Let's actually stick that back in there for them. Well, actually, no, I'll take that with me. Alright. Now, what the gem of eternal density does, if I remember correctly, I'm going to put some stone in my inventory. I'm going to turn this on. Uh, let's see, I think it's press G. Yep, no, it doesn't seem to be wanting to take that. Maybe you have to put it in there? Huh, strange. Doesn't seem to work on stone. Alright, well, um, let me see if I can demonstrate it by collecting some... cobble. Hmm. Maybe I got the wrong thing from equivalent exchange. Ah. 
strange. That should work. Does it have to be in my bag, maybe? Ah, there we go. I wonder why it wasn't working. Oh, maybe it requires a certain amount of it to be in there. Interesting. Okay, so let's put it in my hot bar for now. And now I'm going to go downstairs and demonstrate exactly what it does. So I'll meet you down there. Hey, look what I found. I found a slime. This will be awesome. can always use slime balls. Sweet. Looks like I'm going to get a decent amount out of them. Nice. I hear a zombie somewhere around here. Alright, so we got three of those. Ah! Alright. Find somewhere else to call home. Alright, let's just try digging this way. So I can give you a general idea. Let me. Oh, I need to turn the uh, Gem of Eternal Density on, though. Alright. So, in theory, what this is supposed to do... And let's see. Just need to get up to 64 to show you what it's supposed to do, I think. Maybe not. I'll see exactly how much this takes. So we're just going to go down this way until we've collected a stack of 64. From the way I understand the uh, the Gem of Eternal Density, it's supposed to condense uh, cobble and other useless um, minerals and such down to... or not minerals, stone isn't a mineral necessarily. Um, basically miscellaneous stuff gets condensed down... Oh, see, it just, it just ate some of the stone. Notice how it's not increasing. Oh, there it goes. Now it's... Now it just took the entire stack. Uh, now notice it hasn't given me anything back yet. Which I'm not going to complain about because it, it takes quite a bit actually to make iron. But the idea is that eventually, after you've uh, done a certain amount of this, notice it's not picking up anything but uh, stone, basically. And that's exactly what it's intended to do. Um, I may be wrong. It may pick up some other stuff, but as far as I know, it's only supposed to pick up like stone, gravel, and that kind of stuff. Which works perfectly. It keeps my inventory clean while I'm down mining, and then I don't have to actually figure out some place to put the stuff after I've uh, finished mining. So all I get basically is the stuff that I actually want, which is all these minerals in here basically. Um, and ores, I should say. I guess would be the more technical name for them. Alright. Notice my inventory is still completely empty. Which is perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. I don't want any stone in it. And that gem is just um, processing it. Still have yet to get a piece of iron out of it, so we may need probably... I'm not exactly sure how much EMC a piece of iron takes. Uh, that would be interesting to find out for sure. Um, but if I had brought in my destruction catalyst down here, I could have knocked out a huge area, and then I would have a lot of stone, and it would just absorb the stuff right away. Ah! There's some more crystals. I definitely could use more of those. Alright. Well, this makes me excited. I, I've been wanting to build one of these for a while and finally got enough resources and EMC to be able to build it. Oh, hello there, spider. No, I don't want to stick around to have you eat me. Let's see. Nope, still hasn't produced anything. Not going to complain about it though. Again, it does take a bit of EMC to make the stuff. Now, if I turn off this by pressing G, then I get back all of this stone because it wasn't able to make anything out of it. Um, and then if I turn it back on, it's just going to reabsorb it back into the uh, gem of eternal density. See? So. What I technically could do, again, this is not a useful um, way of, of collecting this. Oh boy, I forgot I had this here. That might be what's causing some of my lag. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and knock this out, actually, for now. Um, and let's see, I have the chest there. Do I have any more chests down here? I probably don't, do I? Hmm. Well... Uh, let's see, I wonder... 
probably this will give me enough to make a chest here. If I take these. <laughs> Keep on getting that achievement because I, I uh, edit the mods a little bit that are in the Let's Play, and so I keep on getting old achievements. You'll notice that quite often, actually. Alright, so let's hook this up. Doesn't need to be very big. And then we'll stick the Gem of Eternal Density in here. And what is supposed to happen, let me actually uh, increase the rate that this is doing this. And let's go ahead and take these out just as a demonstration here. Uh, we'll drop this in there. I'm not sure what's taking it so long. Hmm. Yeah, let's decrease that to 175. Alright. Awesome. So that's going to try to fill that back up. And then as this fills up with cobblestone, it'll automatically condense it down. Should be already doing that, but I guess it needs a... Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and turn it off. Ah, there we go. One piece of iron out of it. Nice. So we finally got enough in there to be able to do that. Alright, we'll leave it to do its thing. Let's see if that actually produces what I want it to. Alright, and let's see. I don't have anything to close this hole back up. So I'm just going to leave that open for now. And we'll head back upstairs. Alrighty. And let's see, my wheat farm's coming along nicely. I finally got, because I now have water cells. The other thing I'm thinking about doing here... Uh, let's see, maybe I have some teleport pipes in here. First of all, I need to make a day. That's my first priority. Um, and then we'll grab a teleport pipe and hopefully finish off my design over nearby. Okay, so... Let's see, let's check in here. Nope, no teleport pipes. There's some item, t item teleport pipes. Awesome. Alright, um, let's see... Where do I want to attach that pipe? Uh, let's see, this is already an intersection, so I could probably just stick it down at the bottom of this one. Oops, no, 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 I don't want two pipes there. And I'm going to set this to frequency 120. And let's see. We're going to call this um, water cell. Click Add, and set Receive to True, and then, uh, let's see, the other thing I'm going to need for this particular design is, I, uh, let's see, do I have any of my, um, uh, hmm, could borrow one probably from one of these other chests. Which is probably what I'll end up doing. But for the moment, let me just get out here for now. Yeah, oh boy. Yeah, he got stuck for some reason there. Alright. So this chest is empty. So I'm just going to take that. I don't think this attaches directly. Oh, I see. Yes, I do need... I still need that chest there. Because it has to have a receptacle there... Then I can put the teleport pipe here, and we'll click uh, we'll click this in there, and we'll set received true on both ends. The reason why I'm setting it to true on both ends is that I want it to be able to actually receive and send both directions. Uh, and the reason behind that is uh, I want it to be able to receive water cells. Oh, that skeleton's gonna annoy me. All right. Um, you know what? I was going to make another another thing. So rather than finishing that other design right now, um, I'm going to show you something uh, that I'm going to get rid of that um, with. Let me see here. Oh, I have another item teleport pipe there. Yay! Um, let's see here. I need... Oh, those are, those are empty cells. To do this design... What was that? 
Oh, it was just the cell. I thought that was a creeper exploding outside the house. Freaked out there for a second. I thought maybe part of my house was gone. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Somewhere in here. I'm trying to remember. Let's see. I need obsidian, which I was using over here, I think, last. Yep. And there's iron. And there's redstone. Yay. All right, let's try this. I only need one of these. I believe. Let's see. I think that was it. Yep. And that would be a sentry turret. If it looks familiar, it should be, because it's uh, from Portal, actually. Because this is part of the Portal Gun mod. There you are. Uh oh, no, no. Oh boy. He took me, took my portal uh, turret out. Hmm. It must put it in the direction. Let's see if I can take this little guy out before he takes me out. There we go. Let's see here. Wasn't sure if these actually work or not. Let's find out. Huh. Well, that's supposed to work. I, I've had these work before. Strange. Hmm. Absolutely weird. I wonder... Let's see, let's get it to where it can see the spider. Huh. I don't get it. Oh well. I thought that would be a nice little addition, but uh, apparently that doesn't work the way it's supposed to. Maybe I have to go edit something from the mod. Not 100% sure. See, that's pointed directly at him. It should be firing at him. Hmm. wonder if it needs bullets. Probably not. Redstone? Maybe it needs redstone activation. That would be interesting. Let's see here if it does. Hmm. One way to find out. <laughs> it's going to be dangerous doing this in here. Nope. So whether I right or left click on it, it seems to... Hmm. Let's see here. I wonder if I gave it... With... Does it take a while to arm? Weird. Don't know why it's not working. Hmm. More research will be needed on that. Alright. Well then. Let's see here. I need... Hey, let me in. Um, let's see, do we have an extra pipe in here somewhere? I shouldn't need that there. I hope, at least. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna borrow this one. Let's see, let's actually borrow the one here on the end. Since I'm not particularly using that chest right now. And we'll get back up here. And get this all set up. Alright, so, we'll go ahead and stick our MK1 right there. And did I bring the wrench? Hopefully I did on me somewhere. I may have put it in one of the chests, actually. Yeah, it appears that I have. Let's see, do I need... what do I need to make that again? Ah, uh, stone gear and some iron. Eh. Well... Let's head back inside, then, and go grab that. Alright, sweet. Should be somewhere in here. Let's see, the last place that I used that would have been... Oh, wait a minute. I died earlier, which would mean that it should be in this chest. Apparently not, however. Hmm. The villain. Ah, there you are. Excellent.
Now, let's see. Provider module. Awesome. Then the other one... Ooh, I know what the other one should be. Um, the other one should be an item sync module. So let's go in and grab that. Hmm, I know that I had one around here. And it'll be really easy to spot, because it's basically just a green module. Ah, there you are. And then, let's see, I, d I just picked up some cells earlier. Excellent. So let's go back out here. And I'm going to tell it a specific item that I want. Which is obviously empty cells. Item sync module. The requested item is... This. And I do not want it to be the default route for anything. Sweet. So now anytime I have cells in the system, they should automatically default to here. Which is a good thing. Alright, it looks like it's connected. Now let's drop in empty cells into here. And turn this on. And yes, I know it's a little bit slow, but this I just want to show you how this works. So basically the empty cells are going into the top because this is a retriever. And I've told it that I want it to retrieve empty cells. So it looks at the chest nearby and goes, oh, okay, there's empty cell there. Let me pull it in and put it into me and then I'll pull it out to here. Then from there, uh, that goes into the deployer here. The empty cell is put into the deployer, and this redstone signal causes the deployer to right-click. Uh, when the deployer right-clicks on the water, it's essentially like if I was to take an empty cell and right-click on the water. It does the same thing. Now, I want this process to be faster, so I'm going to actually take that down to 0.2 seconds, and that'll just uh, continue the process. Anyway, the third one here just needs a redstone signal, and that's a filter, and it pulls stuff out of the deployer, so I'm asking it to pull out full cells, basically. So, anyhow, it uh, looks like it's getting almost night out. Anyhow, let's see where we're at at that. Okay, so it's almost finished here. Um, I'll just wait for it to finish, and then run back inside the house. And... Any day down would be nice. Alright, looks like you're done. So I'll turn that off for the moment. And basically then there's a battery box sitting on top of the retriever because it needs power. And then there's a solar panel sitting on the top. Very compact design. Alright. Let's head back inside. And... Sleep for the night. Woohoo! An excellent design. Let's see here. Boy, you just are completely useless. Probably have to configure you somewhere. Thanks anyway. You know what? I think I'll use you just as a prop in the corner. There we go. Alrighty then. Let's sleep through the night and make it morning again. Alright. Now, let's take out any extra water cells that we have here. And let's see if the system still recognizes that there's water cells around. It should. Uh, yes, there's the 64 that I have out there. Excellent. Oh boy, I'm going to have to do something about that skeleton. Oh, and there's a creeper out here. How nice. Don't notice me. Please do not notice me. Drop these remaining ones in there. Now all that remains to be done... I'm thinking... Is that I need to put another... Let's see, I already got the stuff for the sand. Got my water cell... Automated. Now the final step on that will be... Having something hooked up to this. Alright. 
Let's see. I'm thinking you've... Well, actually... I'll just go ahead and take out the tin that I've already produced in here. Let's actually... Condense this wood back into tin. I'll grab all this stuff that I've created here. Which is quite a bit, actually. Not a bad thing, though, because I'm going to need a lot of it. Alright. So now we got... Huh? <laughs> it's talking. It's talking to itself! No! Thanks anyway. <laughs> Thanks anyway. I love that. All it takes is just bumping into it and it brings it down. Alright. Um, hmm. Let's see. I think... Yeah, I'll just leave that chest connected. What I need to do is go down here and tell it how to use this tin. Um, so, let's go to here. And, oh, I want it to actually, I need to tell it how to make it first. So we're going to do this. A. Hey, there we go. And that was this one here, so I need to go into this one and click import. Then we go into here and we request, um, let's request 300 cells. And that should be quite enough. Good grief. Just look at that. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Wow. Okay. I've had enough of you being down here in my basement. Yes, you're probably going to get me before I get you. Yep, you did. All right, back down I go. Hello there. No, you're not going to get me twice in a row. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. <laughs> All right. Let's get my stuff back on. If I had my chest plate on, that wouldn't have even affected me. So, to keep that in mind, if you're down in a mine and you're not actually mining, put your full armor on and it'll protect you a lot more than uh, it would otherwise. So, alright, there's all my empty cells. Let's grab the rest of them. And, let's go ahead and stick them up in here. I'm not sure. Oh, see, there, there went both of the stacks. That's awesome. These stacks should also disappear as well. Yep. Excellent. That's exactly what I need that to do. Now, all of those should be now stored over here. I'm going to actually put a chunk loading block. Yep. Awesome. So we get this process started again. And that's just going to eat into all those uh, cells. And then I don't... Uh, eventually, what I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to do... And this, this I'm going to do a next episode here. So just giving you a hint, this is how the next episode is going to start. I'm going to switch out the switch for wireless redstone. And I haven't actually used that in this uh, episode, so you'll get to see how it works and uh, what it takes to make the different components of it. And uh, you'll see why I'm going to use wireless redstone. So, anyhow, uh, I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next one. See you next time, everybody. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to help me improve or have ideas for future videos, leave it in the comments below or send it to techandtuxproductions at gmail.com.